this will be the most important video I ever make on this channel. I've been posting content on this channel for nine years. Uh, nine years filled with three videos a day, every day, each one painstakingly crafted with the absolute best moments from my Geometry Dash streams. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yes! Oh, crud, I lost Geometry Dash. Oh, I lost Geometry Dash again. I'll admit, some of my videos have only been okay. All right, now a little tip with Geometry Dash, you gotta jump over the, um, the little things or your guy will blow up. Oh, my guy blew up. But some of them have been absolutely incredible. All right, today we're gonna be reacting to funny Geometry Dash memes on Reddit. Okay, this one's from Redditor Zychronium GD, people who don't play Geometry Dash. Yeah, that's true. I. I do hate people who don't play Geometry Dash. And look at the comment. User Space UK says, This dank meme makes me mad. It seems like you're mocking the Geometry Dash fandom. <laughs> okay, dude, you got triggered by Zychronium GD. The point is, I am extremely proud of my stream. We're out here in public. I'm offering $20 to so the first person who recognizes me from my Geometry Dash stream. But I've been out here about three hours and nobody has recognized me for my Geometry Dash stream edits. <laughs> but you can probably go home and stream Geometry Dash. <laughs> even, even better content than handing people money. I truly believe that not only are my Geometry Dash streams some of the best content on all of Twitch, but are also some of the greatest art created by any human being and most likely any life form that has ever existed anywhere in the universe. I don't remember how to find the other levels. <sighs> what has happened recently is that for the first time in nine years, I got a comment. And it was a comment from someone who I look up to, not just as a member of my community, but as something of a hero. I'm talking about Zychronium GD. He left a comment on one of my 21 uploads from the week of May 23rd that said, Dude, you're losing your hair. I would rather be strapped to a chair and forced to watch minions on a continuous loop than sit through these videos. Uh, you know, at first I thought I would just respond to explain that I, I'm not losing my hair. I just have sort of very light blonde hair and sometimes it looks thin in a certain light, but then I figured it would be rude to try to, you know, clap back at someone as respected as Zychronium GD. So basically I decided to cheer myself up by looking at some Geometry Dash Reddit memes. And then I saw this. Middle-aged Geometry Dash YouTubers trying to get views. That's right, I'd been subtweeted by Zychronium GD. And that's when I realized I would have to do something I knew I had in me but had never truly attempted. I'm talking about creating the greatest Geometry Dash stream edit of all time. Today we're going to be showing you why I think Sakupen Circles is harder than Slaughterhouse. Let's do it! Slaughterhouse! Yes, I got my new best! Well, as we can see, Slaughterhouse isn't that hard because I got my new best the time I didn't even push the button. So let's now try Sakupen Circles! Let's go! Anyone here of Let's Go? Pretty good um, meme. Here we go. This is gonna be so pog champ. Yes, I got my best. Noop, new best! Now this is hard. This is even harder than Slaughterhouse because there's. It involves being ge geometry dashing at the, at the most extreme and intense level. This is, it's official. This level is a remake of the 1.9 impossible level with the same name and takes several gameplay ideas from Iron God, an older level created by Muffy450 himself. And so I posted the stream edit and the next day I took a look. View count looked great and not only that, I had another comment from Zychronium GD. I assumed he would be saying that he had changed his mind about my hair. Dude, even by your low standards, you fell off with this one. Sorry, but this channel is one of the saddest things I've ever seen in all my years of watching Geometry Dash YouTube. I'm afraid this video was a miss. 
So yeah, I basically decided no more Geometry Dash streams on my channel. I just had to do something else. And I'm gonna say it, I, I kind of lost my way. And frankly, I debased myself for attention. Okay, today is gonna be my first ever mukbang video. That's right. I'm gonna be eating an incredible amount of a food called ice. Ah, ah eating so much ice. It's so, it's so cold. Ah. Nom nom nom, what a crazy mukbang. All right, today we're just gonna be reviewing some of the hottest tech products. This one is called the cup. Basically, this is supposed to be a better way to drink water than just using your hands. The thing is about having both this and my hands is that, you know, this can only hold the water, but my hands can hold the water and do a lot of other stuff like playing Geometry Dash. Woo! Anyway, each time I posted an edit of one of these videos, I kept thinking, this is the ones I know Macron GD is gonna like. But, well, take a look. When you run out of low effort ideas for Geometry Dash videos and resort to posting something even worse. Only thing worse than this guy's receding hair and no eyebrows is the weird square wrinkles on his forehead. And then I remembered something. His comment before, I would rather be strapped to a chair and forced to watch Minions on a continuous loop and sit through these videos. He said he would rather watch Minions. So I decided to just completely give in and give this guy what he wanted. Today on the stream, a Minion. We're gonna be playing Minion Rush. Players play the game by controlling a Minion. While the Minion runs, there are three lanes on the track with some floating bananas on it, which Minions can collect by being controlled to move left or right through them. I'll be playing this game continuously for the next 100 hours. You know what? I was actually pretty proud of my Minion video. You know, yes, the whole reason I started making content in the first place was to share my passion for Geometry Dash, but like Zychronium GD said, it was just getting sad. So I posted my Minion video and went to bed. And when I came back to check the next day, I had a comment from Zychronium GD. I'll be honest, I was so nervous to read it, but I sucked it up, took a look, and it said, hey, you know what? This is actually pretty entertaining and it's posty kind of way. Nice to see you finally trying to grow as a creator. It felt good. I celebrated with a couple handfuls of water and was about to sit down and plan my next minion stream. And then I looked closer at the cop. But I'm afraid that if YouTube sees me watching this channel, it will put more minion contents in my feed. So I will be unsubscribing. Goodbye forever. And that's when it hit me. I didn't start streaming Geometry Dash because I wanted to impress some popular guy like Zychronium GD with my content. I started doing it because I love posting three edits from my Geometry Dash streams a day to my YouTube channel. By trying to be a minion VTuber, I was actually becoming something I hate. That's right, a person who doesn't play Geometry Dash. So. I'm sorry if this makes the title of this video seem like clickbait, but I'm gonna keep streaming Geometry Dash until they pry the hands I use to play Geometry Dash and drink water from my cold, dead hands. Oh, what's this? A comment from MinionFan89. Great content. I'm gonna subscribe and give you lots of views and likes. Erm, new plan. Big news, we're changing the channel name to Minion.TV. Welcome to the first of 21 Minion stream edits you'll be seeing here all week. Okay, that's the end of the video. Uh, if you want me to do more Geometry Dash streams, or you want me to do more Minion VTubing, or you have anything else you'd like to see, make sure to subscribe at patreon.com slash Tony and send me your video ideas, as well as get access to exclusive content. And you can even send me a picture or clip you want me to include in a video, like subscriber Joseph Talley did with this image. Pretty cool image. Okay, goodbye for now. Oh yeah, one more thing. The sponsor of this video, Mr. Cax uh, wanted me to say, and, and Pesta said, I verified the golden. So thanks again, Cax, for sponsoring this video at patreon.com slash Tony's Errand.